Hello guys, welcome to a new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to homebrew your Nintendo Switch on version 9.2.0. So this is the latest version as of current, there's probably going to be new versions definitely, but for right now, version 9.2 at point oh, this is working. So, um, I'm going to go over straight to the point, I'm going to be very easy to understand for you guys. I don't even know what I just said, so that's a great start. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and be easy to, un I'm going to try and, you know, make it easy to understand for you guys. So. Um, before you can actually do this, um, you'll need one of these things. It's called an RCM jig. You basically put this in your right Joy-Con and it'll let you boot into a recovery mode where we can get into homebrew. So if you don't have one of these, you can't do it currently. So you need one of these, right? So you just order them from eBay or switchjigs.com. Um, it should look like that. Um, and you also need a switch from July 2018 or older because um, they made a new model which patches this and currently can't homebrew those models so um, make sure you have a switch from July 2018 or older before you continue this. Um, if you want to know, alright so now you want to have an SD card preferably 16 gigabytes or larger. I've got an SD card here. Um, you want to format it. Make sure it's FAT32. I don't think it works on any other file systems. Just format that and boom. Okay so when your SD card is formatted it shouldn't have any files on it, it should just be nice and clean and that's exactly what we need. Uh, so you want to go to the first link in the description which is the homebrew app store link. This is the store where you can get all the homebrew. You can also just grab homebrew files and just drag it on your SD card but it's just easier to be honest but you know you can use both ways so you want to get this. You get the NRO app store files so you just scroll down and you find this one right um, you click on it and it will ask you to save it so we're just gonna save the file now you want to go to the second link which is atmosphere which is the custom firmware which we can use to run homebrew basically now you want to click on the top one which is atmosphere 0.10.5 whatever it's called and then you also want to click on the fusey primary so you want to get both of those files so these are the files we should have currently and then finally come to the last link in the description and you get the Tegra RCMG UI. This is what you're going to need to inject um, the custom firmware. Um, I know it probably makes no sense to you guys but you'll see. Um, you you want to click on the portable version. Alright so now we have all the files we need so I've got to head over to the SD card and I'll show you guys what to do. Okay guys so we're on the SD card and my downloads folder right now we have these are all the files that you should have right here um, from downloading them in the description. If you don't have these files then just check the description. Alright so this one we're just going to extract it to your computer. You don't need to extract this one to your SD card you just you, you grab the Tegra RCMG UI and just extract it to wherever you want. Fuse primary as well we don't need to move that either. The only ones that we need to move okay so now you want to open the atmosphere folder what is that? And you'll see these files, alright, you just want to drag them all onto your SD card, right? So now your SD card should be looking like this. Um, and now you want to get the App Store file. You want to go in the Switch folder of your SD card and put the App Store file in there. You also want to keep this one, don't delete it because it can become useful along the line. So don't delete this one. Alright, so you've basically got all the files on your SD card, so now what you want to do is you want to plug, well not plug, you want to put your SD card inside of your Switch. So I'll go over to my Switch right now and I'll show you guys what to do now. Okay guys, so my SD card is currently inside of my Switch, as you can see right there. Now, what you want to do right now is you want to go into the folder, you want to open the Tegra RCMG UI folder and you want to open the Tegra RCMG UI.exe. So this will open up, it looks kind of scary and whatever, but here's what you want to do now. Alright, so I actually forgot to mention this, but you need one of these U Nintendo Switch um, USB chargers uh, that you can plug into your computer now. Basically, if you don't know where I got mine, I got it from my Pro Controller. So if you have a Pro Controller, you can just use your Pro Controller charger for this, but if you don't, you might have to order one. So just type in Nintendo Switch USB charger, but this will be connecting into the switch. 
all right so it's inside of the switch now so this is connected to the computer with the SD card in it's pretty cool all right so now what you want to do is you want to take off your right joycon oh my god so my right joycon is off as you can see right now now this is where the jig comes in right so you want to put the jig inside of the right joycon right so it just goes in like that don't push it in too hard just make sure it clicks in just like that okay so the switch is on right now with the sd card in what you want to do is you want to completely power it off right you do not want this right you can't do it while it's on power it off completely now on tegra rcmg ui you'll see this thing that says settings and you'll see that you need to install a driver so just click install driver um this is going to be the driver that we use to um inject a payload thing i mean to get homebrew is a simple term so you just um do the setup use the primary bin file that we downloaded so you want to open that or well, yeah just open it up now it'll look like this basically use primary all right so here's what you want to do on the switch now so you want to hold the power button the volume up button the, no the power button and the volume up button for like five seconds and you should get a little thing on your screen that says RCM in yep RCM okay so right the volume up button and the power button basically it's pretty easy but sometimes you might have to hold this if it's not incorrectly but yeah that's basically what you want to do so now I'll say RCM device detected so you know you're in recovery mode right now which is what we're going to use to get in homebrew it's very cool now all you want to do is click this inject payload button and well we're in boys this is how you get into homebrew but well, the custom firmware but as a simpler term we're going to call it homebrew because that will make sense Nintendo switch and would you look at that guys well it looks completely the same but there will be a major difference. You are in homebrew mode. Or as they say, custom firmware. You can also put in your right joycon again. All right, I put in my right joycon again. Now you're probably wondering, well, what am I gonna do? I have homebrew, how do I access the store? What do you do? Okay, well, you just wanna go to your album and you'll see this, um, it's pretty epic. You open the homebrew app store um, and you can download stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, like and subscribe i try to make this easy to do because of the two the, uh, the other tutorials are hard and bad yeah mushy tutorials bye